Okay, we're going to go ahead and cover the adjustment procedure actually by um, illustrating it a little bit from the book just because on the actual tractor it's a bit difficult to get the uh, camera into position. Um, here's a, maybe a, possibly a better view of the indicator rod um, noting the lands and the grooves. Um, the land and the groove together is 90 thousandths and uh, where it's located on the power shaft housing. If uh, adjustment is necessary through the side window and this uh, picture it illustrates the draft um, elephant ear, more commonly called. Uh, if a three-point hitch is in place, the right-hand elephant ear would have to be removed so to gain access to <coughs> the, uh, the side access panel or plate on the clutch housing. And when we get in there, we, uh, I think we went over the procedure to find the locking screw. Um, we actually, to adjust, once we find the locking screw, if we need to make adjustment, or this also would pertain to if your tractor didn't need an overhaul in the clutch but uh, it started slipping and we wanted to adjust it before investing in, in uh, costly parts it might be worthwhile to check the adjustment follow this procedure um, to actually we would actually turn the locking screw in um, you can pretty well go all the way in using a screwdriver and um, actually to tighten the clutch we would spin this cam upward like so and you can use a screwdriver. Um, you would actually have the pedal in the neutral position and you would go ahead and make sure the transmission drive portion of the of the drive line is engaged so it's going to hold everything stationary so that that cam can spin and you take it one uh, one of the four slots at a time by using a screwdriver or a small pry bar and each one of those accounts to about fifteen thousandths of an inch so keeping in mind to when you check the adjustment uh, earlier, um, you can, you know, if you needed uh, 30 thousandths, you could do two slots, or 60 thousandths, you could do a complete four slot revolution. And, you know, just taking it 15 thousandths at a time and then rechecking um, the clutch adjustment. So after everything's uh, been adjusted by the book, um, you can really put it all back together and then at the end of the day also go back to the brake adjustment and uh, Just moving on to the brake adjustment <clears throat> Something we want to do after the power shaft clutch is engaged um, We're gonna have to have the tractor running for this But uh, to adjust the brake if the brake does not fully engage when your shaft is still spinning the yoke in this picture right at the end of, of the engagement rod actually uh, you would remove the pin loosen the jam nut and um, to make the brake engage, you would actually make this rod longer. Um, actually, I, I said that wrong. You would actually shorten this rod, um, you know, half turn at a time and rechecking with the tractor running to see if the brake makes it stop.